wants to know is Faith Abube shares the Turner family story and what lessons you can learn to protect yourself. I was just looking at some candy bars and a slip. A Saturday morning trip to Walmart has left Barry Turner with almost $2,000 in medical bills. I fell because of them because they hadn't cleaned the floor. I wasn't expecting no banana peeling to be on the floor. Turner went to the hospital with a few broken ribs and some bruises. The 66-year-old says at first Walmart was responsive, but nine weeks later, no other contact and the bills are piling up. Quit talking to me. When I talked to her, I felt like she was making it out to be my fault. I got a response right after y'all called them. They wouldn't answer me. Two wants to know got the Turners a call back. We're working now to get confirmation. Walmart will pay the medical bills. Personal injury lawyer David Daggett says it's not unusual for cases like this to drag out. Now, the claims department, their job is to delay, stall, discourage you so you don't pursue your case. What Mr. Turner did properly is he promptly reported and conveyed the facts to the claims department. But Daga says this may still go on for a while. A slip and fall case is one of the most difficult cases to pursue in North Carolina. Simply because you have to prove the owner knew about it and had time to do something about it to prevent the injury. North Carolina has a very harsh law called contributory negligence. That means you have to watch out for your own safety. So if you had the opportunity and should have seen what hurt you under North Carolina law, you don't have any case. Here are three things Daggett says everyone should keep in mind if you're ever in a similar situation. First, report the incident as quickly as possible. Second, if you're hurt, find witnesses immediately. And third, if your injuries are serious, get a lawyer because you're in for a legal battle. Well, the best thing to do, they say, be professionally persistent. Keep calling and be polite when you do it. There's also an insurance called a medical payment policy that most businesses should have. If you're lucky and your injuries are not very serious, the business can pay up to $5,000 in medical bills under the policy, whether you're at fault or not. But keep in mind with this, any settlement will be on a case-by-case -case basis.